I've been dying to make this Persian inspired kebab. And I'm telling you it's out of this world. To start, we're gonna need some beautiful saffron. This is easily one of my favorite spices of all time. And what I'm doing here is almost turning it into a powder. When the saffron is beautifully fine like you, I'm gonna go in with some hot water. And you just wanna let it infuse as you go about your day. For the actual kebab, you just wanna peel down a white onion. I'm gonna introduce it to a grater and just go at it. I promise you I'd rather do any other task in the kitchen than grate a stupid onion. Place the onions on a kitchen towel and just gently squeeze to get back some vengeance. I'm using 80-20 ground beef. We generously season with salt, a generous amount of black pepper. We do a little bit of turmeric and cumin. We add in our dried out onion, and then with the squeeze bottle, I go in with some saffron water. Toss on some gloves and really get into it. It already smells absolutely incredible. You ever see that Persian rice with a layer of basmati rice and yellow on top? That always looks so good to me. Now, this is definitely not the authentic way of making it, but rather the way I'm gonna show you is a little bit more attainable and a lot easier. We're gonna start off with some beautiful basmati rice, and you wanna repeatedly rinse it out until the water runs clear. You wanna wash and agitate until the water is nice and bright like your future. In a large pot, we're gonna start on some oil. The washed rice goes in, add in a nice pinch of salt, cover with water. When the rice starts to negotiate back and bubble, shut it up with a lid. We drop this to a low heat and after 10-12 minutes we turn it off and let it chill. I like to let it steam and relax before I actually mess with it. These are the weapons of choice today. If you don't want the meat to stick to your hands, a little dab of water goes a long way. Grab a big handful of your chilled and marinated meat. Just toss it back and forth so you make sure there's no air bubbles. Start forming it into almost like a log shape. Sort of just form it on the top half of the skewer. You want to sort of move it down on the skewer so it's nice and even. Then sort of use your thumbs to make these cute little grooves. When grilling them, if you are using direct heat like I am, do not put them early or they will be stuck on the grill and fall off. Now, if you follow my beautiful instructions, it should look like this. I <laughs> just say my grooves were a little bit off, but this skewer is beautifully moist and delicious. In a separate bowl, steal some rice, steal a little bit of saffron water. This gets a quick little mix. Do a layer of the white basmati, a little bit more of that yellow rice. And we just grab our beautiful rusted skewer. I like to add a couple wedges of fresh tomato, a nice chunk of kebab with the layered rice. And as always, na bismillah. That is just fantastic.